You're watching Morning Live on SABC2. Thank you for making the time to be with us today. A badly burned person has been given a completely new face and a new lease of life. The life of Mtebiseni um, Kanyile of Engutu in northern KwaZulu-Natal has changed dramatically thanks to new technology and the conscientious work of the Dental Technology Department of the Technical Natal, which specializes in facial prosthesis. Begin Mube compiled this report. The world of 32-year-old Mtebisi Kanyile, a married father of two and an epileptic, became a nightmare when he fell over a fireplace seven months ago. He suffered third-degree burns and his face was badly disfigured. He has been in hospital ever since. The pain was unbearable and Kanyile decided not to undergo any more operations. But when prosthesis was suggested, he jumped at the idea. The Dental Technology Department of Technical Natal is a leader in this field. First of all, we'll take an impression of the patient's face, uh, what's left, and then we'll manufacture an artificial eye for him. Um, we will then sculpt in wax um, a prosthesis, and that is then tried on the patient quite a few times until we get the alignment right and the features correct. Um, then molds are made of that, and the wax is replaced with silicon, and we tint the silicon, patient comes back again and we put the hair and all the sort of finer details in and then it's fitted onto the patient. Kanyele was overjoyed after looking at his new face in the mirror. The technicon says Kanyele will now be able to mix freely with society. Well, it's not perfect but it, um, it will give him a little bit of confidence um, and as well as it covers the, the frontal sinuses um, for him. A year ago, another patient, Abram Motupi from the Northwest province, was referred to the technicon for a new nose. Motupi's nose had been blown off while he was shot at point blank by members of the AWB. Begging Mube, SAPC, Devon. The victim has a new artificial nose thanks to the Truth Commission's reparation process. Abraham Matupi's face was mutilated when Avia Beer members shot him in Fentersdorp in 1993. He had an artificial nose fitted at the prosthesis clinic at the Natal Technicon in Durban today. Cassandra Moodley followed the procedure. When I see them, my heart became a soul. Pained by the memories, Abraham Matupi is still angry at the thought of even seeing the AWB members who shot him on the Krugersdorp Fentersdorp Road in December 1993. But today is one of Matupi's happiest in the last six years. It's the final day of the week-long procedure to fit this survivor with an artificial nose. His own blown out when he was 20 by the AWB members who said at the TRC's amnesty committee they were acting on the orders of party general Yapi Ulofsa. His new life coming about because members of the Technicon Natal's prosthesis clinic spotted him at the amnesty hearing of the AWB members last year. His new nose following a lengthy process of taking an impression of his facial features, casting a mold, making a wax model, and then replacing the wax with silicon. Lastly, silicon is mixed in to match the lightest tone on the patient's skin. There's no feeling in it. There's no movement. Um, it has to be removed. It has to be cleaned. But, as I said before, hopefully in society with just functioning in crowds and that, it will improve that, his quality of life in that respect. The TRC says it's taken so long for Matupi to get his new nose because he was registered as a victim only after the amnesty appearance of the AWB members. Cassandra Midley, E-News, Durban.